up guys welcome back to split equity um, we're continuing on the john deere 145 um, i've done a few things um, well it probably looks like more than it really is um, off camera old johnny now looks like this and this uh this all started because i was trying to get uh the main drive belt off so this right here is the main drive belt which is the i don't know if you can really read that or not but this is the original john deere gx2 uh gx2006 that is the correct part for that i started looking at the drive belt which is kind of what i originally hoped was going to be the the problem with this thing um and you know it looked really loose I mean, even when it was fully you know supposed to be tight and engaged you know it looked pretty loose i compared it to the cub cadet which definitely seemed much had much more tension on it um you know the belt visually doesn't look bad it doesn't have any chunks missing out of it or anything like that neither neither the deck or the uh, drive belt so you know i, I, I kind of thought that they were okay so um, to take that belt off you have to remove the um, the steering shaft so this guy right here i had to take this off um and you know there's, there's a nut there i took it off and you know it was pretty well rusted in place um i didn't put a huge amount of effort into taking that off but i kind of was like well you know there's got to be another way around this so i started taking the part i took the the top uh dash off you know i took the steering wheel off and i started taking this off and basically one thing led to another and before i knew it i was pulling the whole you know main like fender off the damn thing so i didn't really want to go that far without confirming that the trans was good but you know what um I can get a, a good, there's several listings for good trans. Uh, this is a Tough Torque K46. There's a bunch of them on eBay, um, around 250 bucks that say that they, you know, they're guaranteed to work, whatever. So, you know, worst case scenario, the trans is trash and I've already, you know, done some other stuff to it. Um, it is what it is at this point. I, I you know, just kind of went for it um so i took this you know this little rolling chassis here if you will rolled this outside just kind of pressure washed all this off it's in pretty good shape there's a little bit of surface rust that will kind of sand and just spray with uh some rust reformer um you know nothing too bad at all really i'm just going to kind of lightly touch this up the uh the steering issue that i was kind of showing um you know how much play was in the steering uh ends up being just kind of a combination of a few things so what i found was in here right below where it is this plate right here these three tens were completely loose so this was just wobbling all over the place um there is like a little bushing right there which i think will be all right um but there was a kit you know i started pricing out all the individual parts and then you know i, I transfer that over to eat those part numbers over to ebay and they sell you know there's several sellers that were selling like a whole steering rebuild kit which basically comes with two of these bushings right here um there's one still stuck in right here i just haven't pulled it out yet so these little plastic bushings are shot you know they had a lot of wear in them um the shaft itself i think is fine i'll just kind of clean it up a little bit um, this has got some wear on it so this is included in the kit and then also the plate this thing right here I don't know if you can see that but this right here comes in that too and this is bent i think this is why the alignment was off this little tab right here is kind of bent down where on the other side it's up a little bit so i needed that anyway it was about 36 dollars for that whole kit that'll take care of the steering i went ahead and got New valve cover gaskets because th th these are leaking from taking them off. I mean, that's no big deal. It was like $6. I got a whole deck rebuild kit. So what I'm going to work on here tonight is I'm going to strip the deck of all of its components. It comes with everything here, basically. 
it comes well except for it doesn't have these pulleys right here but it's going to have all new spindles like complete with bolts i believe um, it comes with three blades three spindles it comes with all three of these uh, pulleys a new belt and four new anti scalp wheels it was like 150 bucks shipped um i'm sure it's you know chinese stuff these uh also the, there was another kit that i got that's going to be the um these two pulleys this is for the the hydro drive right here so these are i don't even hear that but they're they're getting noisy um uh, especially that one so these are plastic so that's kind of where we're at the whole thing came apart you can kind of see you know i mean it's it's pretty it's a pretty hefty frame for you know a residential tractor i think i mean i don't know seems pretty pretty sturdy um i did not get so I basically i spent about 300 dollars total in parts um i have not gotten a new seat yet because that's just a bolt-on i did not order the new front tires yet i did not order the front axle rebuild yet um i figured those things are easy to do oh i did get the kind of like the tune-up kit that will come with a new air filter uh, we'll do the oil change spark plugs because you know i think that was like 22 dollars um i have i have oil for it so so 300 bucks um in it so far in addition to the two that we spent on it and everything left will be more cosmetic you know um the seat the, the stickers for the side of here that blew off when I pressure washed it, um, little things like that. So, yeah, the seat alone is close to 100. Um, so we'll probably be about 700 into the thing um, if we don't have to put a transmission in it. If we do have to put a transmission in it, then we're gonna be getting close to 1,000. But you know what? Everything is gonna be gone through at that point. So it's almost like having a new i mean these engines are pretty rock solid you know we had the valve covers off everything looked okay they were just a little bit of adjustment but they did need to be adjusted oh i did spend 45 50 bucks on a battery so yeah uh, by the time it's all said and done worst case scenario with a new transmission will be will be right at a thousand dollars for a like new 100 series tractor but you know these things are minimum 2500 depending on i guess what time of year you buy them i've seen some they might have the 54 inch deck but i have definitely seen some that are like 28.99 so i think it's a pretty good deal i mean i'm not going to go out and spend three grand on a brand new tractor it's just not just not what i do um so we're going to go ahead and get started on this it's pretty straightforward just we're just going to remove everything off of it um and then i'm going to start kind of sanding it down and getting it ready for some uh rust reformer and then some primer or we'll see see how that goes so that's where we're at for right now so uh let's get started
three to four coats on this one. Um, is it perfect? Hell no. Is it going to be just fine for what it is? Yeah, I mean, you know, you come back about 10 feet and it looks like it's a brand new mower deck. I mean, I, I still want to give it another coat because there's still some places you can kind of see a little dark, like over here on the, the right. Um, it's yellow, so you really got to give it a lot of coats to um, really have that pop, you know, that, that strong, that yellow, uh, not have anything bleed through. So we'll give it at least one more coat. i uh, almost out of that one can, but I bought two, so I'm fine because I don't really need it for anything else. Um, the wheels are actually pretty good. I don't think I need to paint the wheels on this one. So um, this one, we'll give one more coat. Be ready for all the new parts when they come in a couple days. So this whole entire deck is going to be completely rebuilt. All right, so we got some parts. We got a freshly painted deck. You know, I mean, it looks okay. It's not perfect. It's better than it was for sure. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go with that. So what this is is a kit from eBay. It literally was called a deck rebuild kit. <clears throat> Is this all going to be OEM John Deere stuff? <laughs> Hell no. It has four anti-scout wheels, or, you know, as many as the deck has. Uh, well, yeah, there it is. Four anti-scout wheels. You have three new spindles. Three brand new spindles with new nuts, bolts, nut there, washer, everything you need for that. So, one, two, three, new belt, which is a Raptor, whatever the hell that is. Um, doesn't say, doesn't have any country of origin on that. These are made in India. I've got one, two, three idler pulleys. And last but not least, three new blades. I think that was it. So this was like 150, um, which I was like, yeah, that's, that's good. Um, these are made in USA. These are copperhead blades. I'm not sure, um, but it is made in, made in the United States, and it does say replaces the John Deere part right there. So that's cool. At least we know we have good enough blades. Um, and you say pulley John Deere. Doesn't say where they were made. pretty good I guess so I'm gonna just go ahead and assemble everything I gotta see where I can find where the hell I put all the uh, miscellaneous parts off of this I'm sure I put it somewhere intelligent just have to remember where that is nope that's not it yep sure it was somewhere intelligent is it all this crap no yeah. well maybe I don't need anything maybe I maybe everything I need is over here already maybe that's it probably just uh yeah maybe that's what it is so i need some tools that would help so i gotta kind of check to make sure my mic is plugged in because that last video kept cutting out that really annoyed me all right take the tape off All right, since I don't have to actually get up and put the spindles on, we're gonna do that first. All this is gonna blow away. All right, now which way do these 
days ago. Blades have a little star pattern, so this goes down. So we'll just leave that on there. These, so it's going to go under. Couldn't be the right size, could it? Oh, yeah, it is. All right, so these are half inch. fall down there. I don't know if I should put some Loctite on these or not. Probably would not be a bad idea. No, nah, they have little ribs on the on the head, so they're designed to stay in place. So we're not going to do that. You know, if you just had like a flat, I mean, really even just the washer should help. But if there was nothing there, I don't know if you can see that, but they're ribbed. So it's designed to hold it in place. That's weird. Why is there three little doodads like that and that one doesn't have one? What does that mean? There it, is. Okay, there it goes. So, these have um, grease fittings on them which I've heard doesn't necessarily do anything because the bearings are sealed on the inside so it's just filling up a chamber but it's not doing anything I'm not going to take this thing apart to find out um, I'm just going to put it on here but I guess in theory you want to have these as accessible as possible so we'll try to have it so that faces out or no no because there's going to be because there's a cover that goes over these so we want to have it facing this way yeah I have to paint those covers too, don't I? They still look like crap. Alright. Ow. Alright, I need something. I'm gonna borrow these wheels for right now. I guess I could just put the wheels on and then it would actually sit up off the ground, but that would just really make like you know way too much sense. Do they come with new screws? No. Where did you go? Don't be scared. Come on now. That's the wrong way. Maybe there's a, only a one way to go? No. Well, at least it lines up like that, so we're going with that. All your bolts started before you tighten any of them. So you'll never get them all lined up if you don't do it that way. What the hell is that over there? You got a hyena? That's three Ugga Duggas. Spec is between two and four. I'm totally making that up just, just so we're clear. Wow, these high quality bolts right here, man. Maybe they're not half inch. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's a 13. Oh, my arm's stuck. Okay. How am I going to do that one? It's way over there. All right, which way we want the grease fitting to go on this one? I guess forward, right?
the end of the day, it's all just got to be functional, right? It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be pretty, but I think it looks okay for what you're going to see of it. And it's just going to get all dirty in like a day anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just don't like to have something that looks like total rusty shit. Two Ugga Duggas. All right, so not that I'm ever going to do anything, but the two grease fingers are facing in on those and forward on that. All right, so I guess now it'd be logical to put these on. It's funny, I did actually notice how you can see all the little places where rocks have hit this deck from the underside, all these little like pimples on the thing. I guess as long as it's, yeah, okay, good enough. Good enough. I believe are 22 mil. So let me get my big Ugga Dugga. Uh, I think there's supposed to be a washer there. Maybe. Exactly brilliant. I mean, it's tight. Wobbles a little bit. I don't know if that's a spindle or what. That one spins nice. And It's fine, you know. They work. Bi direction. Seems fine. They actually are fine, they're just loose so they're making a little bit of noise. The bearings seem fine in those. But I'm gonna have to look at my picture as far as the orientation of it. I think that's right. Yeah, because it's got a little stopper. And this, I think, goes in there. I think that's how that's supposed to go. Yeah, that moves. Yeah, the spring broke at some point, they just kind of MacGyvered it with that, but it was working, so. For now, that's what we're gonna do. That's your tensioner. And then we put this guy on. And we are for these. And then these two went over here for the, the side chute. Those are 15. All right. Nice and quiet. Nice. That was one of those toast. Yeah, they're all nice. 
these are fine. I mean, you know, compared to how they were. All right, I guess I'm gonna flip it over, put the blades on. Probably gonna end up scratching my paint up. Rest on. Boxes. I also undercoated the deck. It probably will not do anything, but I figured I'd at least try. Yeah, so I, I sprayed it with the the rust reformer. You know, kind of like knocked off some of the, the big stuff, and then hit it with some rust-oleum undercoat in a can. Got a little extra layer. Don't know how long it's gonna last, or if it'll do anything at all. At least it looks okay right now. So make sure you put the blades on the right direction. I think it'll say, in this case, the label is gonna go up, because there's the cutting edge. And you see these things, I mean, they're not really crazy sharp. I can just run my finger right over that, you know. You don't really want to make them like really sharp when you do sharpen them. I mean, it's kind of hard not to, but when they're new, they're not even all that sharp. You just want to have some kind of a blade on there. All right, so yeah, your the beveled side is on the top, flat side is on the bottom. Sometimes they'll say it, but these I don't see where they do. Don't think it matters which way that goes. 24 on the bottom and 22 on the top. I guess we could give it a, a shot of grease just, just for good measure. It actually pushes the washers down flat when you tighten it. Yeah, they're definitely not silent. <laughs> but maybe, they're, I mean, I've never replaced these before. So I don't know if they're ever silent. I mean, the pulley ones, they, they're usually pretty silent when you put new pulleys on. But the blades may not be, who knows. I'll put the anti-scout wheels on. Put them back where I can see the marks of where the old ones were. But I'm probably gonna end up adjusting these. 15 mil. Um, I need to get a 15 mil wrench to hold the other side. Yeah, so the anti-scout wheels are supposed to be a quarter of an inch off of the ground when you have your deck at whatever height you're gonna cut the grass. So that's why there's, you can see there's there's four different places you can put these. Each is probably like a half an inch um, different. From the factory, they may not be set right. So you gotta figure out where you wanna cut your grass at, and then wherever that is, put it on like a hard surface, like your garage floor, your you know concrete or something, and you adjust these so that these sit just off the ground. They're like a quarter inch off the ground, so they're not just spinning when you're driving along. And that makes these things really work good. Um, the first couple years I've been cutting grass with my Cup Cadet, you know, I really wasn't doing a very good job, and I didn't realize it until after I finally was like, let me see if I can adjust this deck, because it was like lower in the front, or it was, it was tilted up pretty pretty high in the back, I think. So I, you know, and I'll show you how to do all that stuff. I mean, you get it set right. I actually just bought this little like $10 gauge that, um, can actually touch right where your blade is underneath. I'll show you that when we get to it. You can, you can level it front to rear and side to side and then put these where they're supposed to be. And when you run over like rocks, or not rocks, but like tree roots and stuff in your lawn or you go through a like a big, if like one of your tires on the tractor runs through a rut, it doesn't, this isn't gonna scalp your grass because these are going to hit the ground so they look pretty much exactly the same just much nicer and newer these did not come with new hardware all right i'm just going to squeeze a little bit out of my grease gun here
this thing a little bit more of a fighting chance to survive. Okay. Nice. A little bit of wobble, but not, you know, it's got to be able to spin, so good. Let's do that four more times. rebuilt deck pretty much ready to go back on I should at least be able to roll on that a little bit all good so all I got left is these two covers which I, I forgot I have to sand and paint these but they go on there like that 